I'd like to use grammar as an example of something, but it doesn't have to be grammar. So I have a background as an English teacher and, and grammar is something that I'm very familiar with, but in different walks of life, in, in, in business or in social circles or in different circles, you can change the, the terms of what I'm talking about. So often as a teacher, we're taught to teach rules. And it sounds like a great idea, but actually a lot of the time, unless we're, we're, we're very mindful about how we do this, what we're doing when we're teaching rules is we're putting pressure on just those things that people with dyslexia have trouble with. For instance, working memory. What is working memory? Well, it's the ability to recall and apply information, especially short term inf information and especially information, as it were, received auditorily. So the stuff we've listened to, basically. Let's say we're teaching grammar. And again, as I say, you can change the terms of this quite simply. Let's say we're teaching grammar. What are we doing when we teach rules? Well, we're teaching people to remember the rules and then to apply the rules. But this is putting pressure on working memory because that's what working memory is supposed to do. It's supposed to remember and apply. And so often the very act of teaching people is the act of putting stresses on the cognitive functions that people with dyslexia find tricky. And this, of course, then causes all sorts of emotional stress and trauma and psychological difficulties and feelings of not being able to and being worthless and falling behind and knowing that you're falling behind. Instead, what we might want to do is ask people to engage with the grammar. Instead of telling them this is the rule and you have to remember it and you have to apply it, get them to engage with it, be constructivist about it, be engaging about it. Get people to work stuff out themselves, because when they do that, you're not putting any pressure on the working memory. Far from it. It's a completely different sort of learning. And the same goes for business, and the same goes for social life, and the same goes for almost everything. If we stop just telling people these are the rules, remember them and apply them, then we can take the pressure off people's working memory.